Hello and welcome to Omers from all six of our competing states this year in the OM6 tournament. To friends and family that might be watching as well, this is the award ceremony for uh, the 2020-2021 OM6 Virtual Odyssey of the Mind tournament. Now, as you know, this past year has been pretty challenging for the world. And if anything, we've needed more creative solutions than ever before. And what we decided in our six states competing is we couldn't not have an Odyssey of the Mind competition. And even though we couldn't have an in-person competition, and we were committed to making sure that each of you could solve an Odyssey of the Mind problem this year, share your solution, and get feedback in the spirit of problem solving and creativity uh, that we know and love so well in Odyssey of the Mind. And the thing is, all of you rose to the occasion and produced some really incredible solutions this year. I know I had a fun time judging the primary problem, which was a ton of fun. And I know that all of our volunteers really enjoyed watching your creative solutions, seeing how you solve spontaneous all remotely with that extra added challenge challenge this year. Uh, so while we're very excited to be back in person next year in a much safer, healthier world, uh, we're also very happy that we could keep our volunteers, keep all of you, your coaches, your teachers, your parents, everyone as safe as possible, but still provide the same Odyssey of the Mind experience that we've been providing for 40, well over 40 years. Uh, so Congratulations to all our teams competing. Again, an extra challenge this year and you met the challenge and then rose above it. So congratulations to you. That's exactly the kind of problem solving we look for and we, we teach an Odyssey of the Mind. So best of luck. The awards will follow shortly. But before that, we have a few people that would like to say hello. Hello, Overs. My name is Diane Carricker. I'm the Association Director for the State of Illinois. I want to congratulate all of you on completing this year's long-term problems. I hope you've had a wonderful experience. It's been a learning and creative one for you. Good luck at the award ceremony. Thank you. Hello, Kansas teams. We're your co-association directors. I'm Shelley Ballard. I'm Lana Hiddle. And we just want to say good luck to you as you begin the competition for this year's OM6 virtual tournament. Good luck, guys. We are really excited that we're have, able to have a, a competition, even though it's virtual. And we're excited to see what you guys are going to be able to do. Best of luck, everybody. Best of luck. Hey, so some of you may have been roaming around looking for fun, but for others, it could have been a perilous situation with a real cliffhanger. You might have entered a virtual reality world with a new dimension. Or a magic beanstalk took you away to a mythical land. And a few of you may have looked as sly as a fox. You could have felt like it was a trap and it was funny until the weights came crashing down. But whatever you chose, thank you for your creative solutions and good luck from all of us at Missouri Odyssey of the Mind. Hi, I'm Martha Ranji. I'm president of Oklahoma Creativity Inc. I'd like to welcome all of the teams to the OM Sticks Tournament. And especially I'd like to wish the Oklahoma teams good luck. I hope I get to place one of these around your neck. Hello Omers. Welcome from South Carolina. This is Cindy Byers, the South Carolina Odyssey of the Mind AD. I'd like to wish all of the South Carolina teams a wonderful trip on this journey with Odyssey of the Mind and good luck to them and all the other teams. See you soon. Hey there on six teams. This is Alan Ball. I'm the Association Director of Tennessee Odyssey of the Mind and the Tournament Director of this tournament. I just want to say how proud I am of all the teams and our Tennessee Elmers for making it through this year. I know it's been difficult but we're so impressed with what you did and the creativity you showed, and I thank you for continuing. Everybody have a great year. All right, Elmers, it's the moment you've been waiting for, the awards. To start us off, we're gonna begin with the primary problem, which is not competitive, but a showcase for our youngest Elmers. For this year's primary problem, called Animals Are People Too, we'd like to congratulate the team from Wolf Branch School for their adorable and creative solution. Great job, team, and we can't wait to see you compete in Division One. Moving on to problem number one, the vehicular problem, which this year is Omer the Roamer. In first place for Division One, we have... John Rex Charter Elementary School from Oklahoma. 
congratulations to this team for their first place. For Division II, the first place team is... Wolf Branch School from Illinois. Congratulations to Wolf Branch School. Now, these are the placements by division, but for your convenience, we've also placed the teams by the state in which they are competing. So as you can see here, Illinois and Oklahoma have two first place teams in the vehicle problem. Moving on to problem number two, the technical problem, which this year is Virtual Odyssey. For Division One, our second place team is Wolf Branch School from Illinois. In first place, Sullivan Elementary School from Kansas. In Division Two, our second place team is Orchard Farm Middle School Team B from Missouri. And our first place team is Orchard Farm Middle School Team A. Congratulations, team. For Division Three, our second place winner Belleville West High School from Illinois, and in first place, Owasso High School from Oklahoma. Congratulations, teams. And in Division Four, our first place team is Nut Tree from Belleville in Illinois. Congratulations, Illinois. And here's the placement by state. Illinois, Kansas, Missouri, and Oklahoma. Congratulations to all our teams. Moving on to problem number three, classics, Omer and the Beanstalk. Let's climb to new heights with Division One. Our first place team is Wolf Branch School from Illinois. Moving on to Division Two, we have five teams that competed. In fifth place, Union Middle School from Missouri. In fourth place, Clark Middle School from South Carolina. In third place, Kepley Middle School from Kansas. In second place, Marshfield Junior High from Missouri, and our first place champion team, Royce Moore School from Illinois. Congratulations, Royce Moore. Moving on to Division Three. First place goes to Andale High School from Kansas. Congratulations, Kansas. And here are the placements by state. Great job, teams. Moving on to problem number four, the architectural problem, which is very challenging to do during a pandemic, but we did have one team that competed in structure, and that first place team is Division Three, first place Jenks High School from Oklahoma. Congratulations to the team from Oklahoma. Moving on to problem number five, the theatrical problem called Superhero Socks, A Cliffhanger Beginning. For Division Two, we actually had seven teams competing, right? So with no further ado, let's start with our seventh place team, which is Republic Middle School from Missouri. In sixth place, we have Orchard Farm Middle School Team B, also from Missouri. Fifth place goes to Wolf Branch from Illinois, congratulations. Fourth place is Marshfield Junior High from Missouri. Our third place team is All Good Middle School from Tennessee. Second place is Orchard Farm Middle School Team A from Missouri. And your first place champion, Kepley Middle School from Kansas. Congratulations to all the teams. For Division Three, we have second place going to Ulysses High School from Kansas. Congratulations, Kansas. And first place is Belleville West High School from Illinois. Congratulations, teams. And here's your placement by state for problem five. Moving on to special awards, we're pleased to announce that one of the teams competing in this year's Omstix virtual tournament is the recipient of the prestigious Renata Fusco Award. Uh, now, for those of you who don't know, the Renata Fusco Award is given to teams who demonstrate exceptional creativity or risk taking in the development of their solution. This year, we're pleased that one of our teams was nominated for this award by the long term judging team. Here's what they wrote. Grr, our grump. Given the limitations of a virtual competition, one might think that a team would leverage every form of verbal communication possible. However, one team chose to do the exact opposite. Using no spoken or written language to present their solution, this team conveyed story, action, and emotion through grunts, groans, and other primitive sound effects inspired by their prehistoric theme. Proving that creativity often defies the expected, this team took a major risk to communicate via simple sounds in a virtual video solution. But in this case, the creative of risk paid off. Grf, team. Translation, great job, team. 
And the recipient of this Renato Fusco Award is... Orchard Farm Middle School Team A from Missouri, Division II Problem 5 Superhero Socks, a cliffhanger beginning. Congratulations, team. Congratulations, teams, on solving a problem this year. It's been a really hard year for everybody, but you guys came through, worked together, met the challenge, and successfully put together a creative solution. You should be very proud of all the work that you've done and what you've done for Odyssey the Mind. So thank you very much, and congratulations. Congratulations, teams, on your placement. Solving the problem is really the accomplishment. You've learned so much along the way in terms of teamwork and sociability and self-efficacy and all these great skills that you know, you might not realize in the moment because you're having so much fun solving your Odyssey of the Mind problem, uh, but you're acquiring along the way that's going to change and shape you for the rest of your life. So congratulations for successfully completing your Odyssey, but I have good news. It turns out that your Odyssey is not yet over and special for this year, given the circumstances that we've all been dealing with the past several months, any team that wants to participate in the World Finals competition is allowed to do so. So if you go to www.odysseyofthemind.com, you can find out more information about how your team can compete in this year's Odyssey of the Mind World Finals. So best of luck for those of you who choose to compete at the international competition. And I can't wait to see you in person for my Illinois teams uh, next year in Illinois. And I can't wait to see the rest of you at World Finals in 2022 when we will be back in person. I can't wait. So be safe, take care, and continue your Odyssey.